I give the floor to the United Nations Association of China. Article 19 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights confers that everyone shall have the right to free speech. However, this basic human right was severely undermined during the period of Black Cloud Riots from June 2019. In September 2019, Annie Wusukching, a 71-year-old lady, stood up and spoke up about truth in Hong Kong at the 42nd section of the UN Human Rights Council. Ms. Wu rightly pointed out that the radicals do not represent people of Hong Kong and that their escalated violence devastated the city, destroying the livelihoods of the majority of the people in Hong Kong. Offended by the truth, the Black Cloud rioters subjected Ms. Wu's family business to systematic and calculated violent attacks, not to mention the 71-year-old lady also became a victim of verbal abuse. Nonetheless, the international media were downplaying or omitting coverage of the radicals firebombing and vandalism against Ms. Wu's family business. I choose to highlight the case of Ms. Wu as an illustration of the need for national security law in two important aspects. Firstly, with the national security law in place, black art violence vanished and Ms. Wu's right to property being protected. Secondly, I need not fear for my own safety for speaking out the truth about the black art rioters here. Contrary to the twisted view that is often presented by the Western media, the national security law restores not only the law and order of the city, but also the human rights of the people in Hong Kong.